Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterium Racer. Today we're coming with a package from Card Corner, the one, the only, Mr. Milo. Holy cow, I won one of his giveaways, and let's see what we ended up picking up. It's going to be a little bit of a... He overdid it. Let's be honest. I figured he might. I was hoping he wouldn't. Let's take a sweet little look, starting with the one and the only Napoleon Dynamite. Forget that new movie out. I heard it wasn't the best thing. I'll still see it by Ridley Scott. D Napoleon. I'd rather see Napoleon Dynamite. Flippin' sweet. Look at that house in the back. We got UFO abduction insurance. It's funny because um, in high school, I used to hand out girls um, my business card, which uh, had a saying that I was your local abduction um, specialist. So call me. Uh, so that's kind of a sweet little thing right there. That's another Napoleon card. And I did it well before that movie, okay? Oh, we got Willie Mays. Ooh, gotta love that. A big fan of the vintage cards here. Ooh, look at the sleek Roger Mitchum. I love a pair of Panini Americana. I, I buy quite a bit of the autographs over the years and the relic cards. Uh, so, yeah. I, I buy quite a bit of those. Yeah, there's Robert Mitchell on back. Look at that card sleeve. That's pretty sweet. <clears throat> oh, the Charlie Sheen. Gotta love him in Major League. Um, I'm still working on his autograph. It has come down a little bit. The new um, the Leaf product does have him in there. He is on my list here. The Vampire Strikes Back. Sweet little card. Um, Ian Ziering. Um yeah, we used to play a lot of drinking games to 90210 in college. <clears throat> and that's what I'm remembering him for. <laughs> uh, immortality, horse harness racing. I don't know that. Oh, that's a sweet card from Star Trek 79. I believe that's from the uh, the movie one. But look at those just staring blankly off into space. We got to give Shatner and Nimoy their dues on that bad boy. And we... Good old Superman right there. I have no idea who that top foil is. The tennis is probably down there on the bottom of my list of um, sports that I can actually do competently. I can knock a ball around, but we'll go from there. We got Hollywood Zombies. Those are kind of fun cars. I need to pick up a pack of those Hollywood Zombies with Johnny Death. Not Johnny Depp. <clears throat> we got Pokemon. I know zero about Pokemon, I'll be honest with you. I might be just a touch too old for that. Ah, the SmackDown, the Rock here. Looks, uh, I don't know what he's doing to that guy, but it almost looks like he's defecating on him. Ooh, I, I am a Star Wars guy, a little more than a Trekkie guy, definitely more than a Trekkie guy. That's a beautiful chrome card right there in the rainbow foil. We got a little Yoda up there. Oh, my love. I love this product. Tops Chrome, Satchel Plays. It has the old players and new players. That's just a beautiful, beautiful card. Vintage card. And I'm a big Satchel Page. I wish I could pick up some of his cards, older ones, but I just can't afford it. We're going to cover up the uke on that one. We got Bill Mazeroski on there. Rick Farrell. <clears throat> the uh, Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. Oh, that is a sweet-looking card, though. Gotta love this Platinum Edition. Tops right there. Willie Stargo. He's just nailing all these old great players in the special rainbow foil there. Uh, he must be opening this stuff. He does a ton of trading cards. Hard to find. I'll try to post it down in the comment. It's just like my name. You know, you type in that, and you're just like, where am I going? Just like Criterium Racer. But thank you for making the effort to find my channel. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that beautiful card. That looks like an autograph. Looks like an autograph. I hope I didn't miss any other autographs. That is beautiful. Call of the Wild from Ace Ventura. Is that on card? That is. That's beautiful. I need to pick up some Sop Culture kids, too. They make some good cards for the Goonies that I haven't picked up all of them yet. That is wonderful. <clears throat> Satchel Page. And we got Mike Gantner. 
hockey player. I actually bought some of these Bowman cards back in what was this, nineteen ninety? Yes, it is nineteen ninety hockey. I I catch a few Avalanche games a year. I'm not a, <clears throat> a giant hockey fan, but I'm an all sports fan. Yeah, most people don't go to a couple hockey games a year too, you know, but I do. Um, I drive down to catch the Avalanche games. It's, hockey's so much better live than it is. Um, <clears throat> Watching it anywhere else. I kind of grew up with Wisconsin Badgers when they were winning national championships. And their basketball team sucked. And their football team sucked. So everyone watched their hockey team back with Mike Ritter and Gritano and those guys. And, you know, Akbar, I'm not going to pull. It's a trap because I'm just horrible at that. But that's a beautiful looking card right there. Collect all 18 stickers. It is a sticker. I'm having a fun with this randomness. Truly, truly am. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure, Rustic Woods. I spent a quite a bit of time out in the woods. This past uh, Sunday over Monday, I went out in the middle of a blizzard, skied five miles up the side of a mountain to this primitive um, mining cabin, and then skied back down. I probably should have looked at the avalanche report because it was not good, and I shouldn't be out there by my lonesome in the middle of a blizzard, but that's what that reminds me of with the snow on the ground here. <laughs> Look at the little ACDC action. That's a beautiful car. I forget what set that's from. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Ooh, look at that beautiful back. Rock cards. Rock stars, not rock cars. Otherwise, we would get over here. Guy, guy, stuff just falling every which way. I saw ACDC once back in about, I don't know, 99-ish, give or take a year. Yo MTV Raps. Saw them on the zoo tour with you, too. Uh, Mr. Flavor Flav. Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. I never had cable growing up, so I barely knew who these people were, but as I got older, I did. We got Eddie Murray, one of the best switch hitters ever. 78 Tops was his rookie. Later in life, I did pick that up, but as a kid, I've always wanted his rookie. Look at that shiny, shiny. That's a beautiful card. Uh, Big Meat Pete. All right. I think this guy is completely underrated. He's been putting up solid numbers for years now. It just doesn't get the credit. He is due. I wonder what he's going to get paid in free agent in the next year or so. All right. We got Lou Brock, the speedster, before Ricky Henderson. Why am I giving commentary <laughs> on every single card here? But I'm enjoying myself going through this stuff. Probably end up doing it later, too. And we got Iron Fist, Boomerang. This is from Metal Universe, Hammerhead. Nice looking card right there. McFury, Mr. Negative, that can be me some days, but can't we all? Nice looking Bob Feller out of Donruss. Almost doesn't look like the same person. Except the chin. Eh, almost look like a speck of dirt. Stand the man, usual. Gotta love it. Moises Alou, outfielder. And Harold Baines. I don't know if I have his rookie. I used to be able to pick that up for so cheap. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that on the bottom here. Piece of resistance. A Karen Allen autograph. I love Indiana Jones. I love her. Um, this is actually on a real Ladies of Last Hour. No heritage. No nothing like that. Look at that beautiful signature on a great card. Oh, my gosh. I love that thing. That is just beautiful card. Beautiful autograph right there. I am stoked on that card. I bring it up every time I probably shouldn't, but he started dating Indiana Jones when she was only 15 years old, Marion did, and he was, what, 26, 27 at the time? And Indiana Jones, a little bit of a pedophile. I shouldn't say it, but it's true. Oh, and we got more stack inside this package. Oh, we got a pack. MetaZoo. I don't own any of this, so I'll probably keep it sealed. I open my seconds and stuff like that, but that's a great addition to my non-sport pack collection. Is ever single growing on that one? That's a cool pack here. All right, we got... <clears throat> and we got a Japanese of Yu-Gi-Oh! That is sweet. Where did we pick that up? God is great. When he's over there in uh, Japan, 2023 on that one. That's just sweet. Nice Karen Allen. Karen Allen. Did I say Carrie? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying to do this on the fly, and sometimes I my words don't come out quite wet. So all this stuff was ended up being bonus stuff, because I think... 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure this was what I originally won out of his giveaway. He overdid it here. But we got a beautiful uh, <laughs> Michael Kopech that's um, custom, one of one, guaranteed. Let's take a little gander into this bad boy. We got Cat in the Hat. Giving jazz hands. Gotta love that. We had Chloe. That's from Bratz. I need a pack of those too. He's giving great reminders of what cars I need. And I used to play DJ onto those suckers. A little scratching action. <laughs> All right. It is the Bratz then. Victoria Clark. The Lights of Broadway. Probably do that. I've actually never been to a Broadway product. Well, on Broadway, you know, <laughs> on that one. But it is ballet season finally again. I guess the Nutcracker's in full force. I might go to that on Sunday. We'll see if I can score a cheap ticket. Anyways, enough with the ballet. Uh, I don't have a life. And we go to, I have no idea who that is. Charles Folger. I'll read the history later. My video is getting up there. Upper Deck, Space Jams, Marvin the Martian. High school, I did have boxers of him. More information than you needed to know, but he was all over my boxers in high school. Zoltar, Masters of the Matter World. That's awesome. Rhea, don't know that cards either. A lot of fun stuff here. New York State of Mime, Aaron Judge on there. Man, they're turning back into the evil empire with the pickup of Juan Soto. And, uh, and a bunch of other trend Christians. They had so many outfielders. They're just planning on people getting hurt. The Colonel and the Shredded. Gotta love that snapping in half action. Awesome. A little skybox action. Uh, TRU Creator. Okay. Flexing big time. Ooh, look at that. Sparkle, sparkles. Wow. And we got more Chrome. I love this stuff. We got Mr. Winfield. <clears throat> Almost should have been a pitcher, but wasn't, or a basketball player. He was a killer, killer athlete at Minnesota. Oh, Jackie Robinson. Get out of the way, Brian. We are lining you up right next to the 56 tops. I don't have that car. I wanted that car. I was looking at singles of this. Thank you, thank you, Milo. Thank you, thank you. Trading cards. Post it down below. We got Maris. I should have bought his 62 tops when I had a chance when I was younger. Never did. Probably won't again. We got Willie McCovey playing for San Francisco. He almost looks like that almost looks like a Mets one. Ooh, 87 tops is behind it. <gasps> Mike Davis. I love 87 tops. I like autographs. That's a huge one. I do a lot more, actually, non sport autographs, but I have, I got a few autographs. We'll put it that way. Oh, Don McLean. What? That is awesome. That is on card autograph of Don McLean. Uh, yeah. Too many people played that back in college, American Pie, but I still can recite that like the back of my hand. It's an institution. Beautiful autograph. Love it. This is just stacked in autograph. What do we got? Stump Merrill back here, too? Nice autograph of an, you know, obviously a New York Yankee, but it's some Merrill. And this is the American Pie we got. And I have a lot from this year of relic cards. This is from Carrot Type. This is awesome. I don't have this. I probably have 20 something other relic cards from this year of American Pie, but I don't have Carrot Top. So, sorry, keep coming back to this bad boy. <laughs> Well, thank you, Milo. Thanks for tuning in to another video of this randomness that epitomizes. He knows what I collect, epitomizes it. We got baseball. We got autos. We got non-sport. We got pop culture up the wazoo. This has just been a killer fun opening. Go check out Milo. I'm going to leave the description down below. Until next time, guys. I think next week I am close by of a box, that, a small box. I'll probably end up opening it on the channel. Uh, so tune in next week for some non-sport card openings. Thank you very much, guys. Happy holidays if I don't see you from now to Hanukkah, Christmas, and Kwanzaa, whatever you want to celebrate. Talk to you. And Chinese New Year's coming around the corner, too. Thank you.